So we, here we are at uh, the, uh, what is this, the Red Bull Lounge, I guess it's called? Exactly, or the Stella Lounge. Something like that. Well, that's what we'll call it today. Okay. Wherever we are, we're doing it big for the Toronto International Film Festival. And I've got Julie C. here. How you been? I'm good. How are you, John? I'm fantastic. It's been a long time since we got to chat. That's right. It's been. I think it was, uh, like, the 90s still. You think it was the 90s? I think so. It might have been, like, 88. It might have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Playground. Had, you had, like, the big afro thing. Yeah, yeah. And the, the lines shaved in the side. Too much hairspray. Yeah, and I, re I remember when uh, when I when I, I taught you how to play guitar, and that was the beginning of your music career. Yes, yes. I should thank you for that. Thank you're, you. You're welcome, by the way. <laughs> but uh, enough about the past. Let's talk about the future for a moment. Yeah. I heard you got a new song, a new single coming out. I do. It's called Tomorrow. And is it is it going to be out tomorrow? Well, it was out last last. Last week it officially came out to radio, so it's creeping its way towards you right now. Okay, cool, cool. So maybe I'll have a listen tomorrow, and it'll be very fitting. That's right. You should listen tomorrow to tomorrow. Exactly. And then I'll be looking at my Twitter list, and remember when I followed you the day before, and it was I was looking forward to when I would hear it tomorrow, That's which right. by then will be today. That's right. Cool. Could be confusing, but it's not. It's very simple. Well, I, I get it. If you get it, we're good. We're good. Now, I I was hearing a rumor here at the party that you had just got back from Jamaica. I did. How was that? It was amazing. I just went to Jamaica to re-record, to do like a special edition, special version of this song called Tomorrow because it's a song I wrote there in Jamaica. Yeah. And it's kind of about the whole culture of slowing down and relaxing and trying to, you know, live every day as it comes. Not worry about tomorrow. You know the time where you're going to listen to the song? Yeah. Don't worry about that. Worry about right now. You know what's happening. Yeah. That's what matters. So is that a vibe that you pick up when you go down there? Is that what brings out the creative muse in you down there? It really does. It just kind of like a big slamming on the brakes and just relax. Relax. And, and then all this stuff comes out and, and that's where this song came out. So I, I thought, you know what? Why not go back there and re-record it? at Bob Marley's Tough Gong Studios with like awesome like the best reggae musicians that ever walked this planet to re-record this song. That's it was really a treat. It was a, an amazing moment. Well for a music lover like you that almost sounds like damn near a religious experience. It does. It, it really was. It really was. I mean I'm I'm picking up the excited you vibe are? just from you standing here. All the sunshine and oh, the I'm, warm. I'm soaking it up. Yeah 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 that's gonna last me all week when I need inspiration. Yeah that's right. It's yeah, getting my, cold my, out my here. next writing session I'm gonna call on it out of the ether. And now uh, you get you got the full length coming out you said in March? Yes, March first, the new album's coming out. That's a lot of lead time. Yeah. Is it all in the can, or are you still working towards the March date, like when they announce the Spider-Man's coming out in next year? And... No, no. We're still working on stuff. Oh, cool, cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now it's all about the single. It's all about the single. I'd say most of it is done, you know, but we're just, you know, trying to get people informed about it, you know? You gotta, yeah, you got to give it the finesse. Yeah. You got to give it time to gestate and mature. That's right. Right, and you age know? it like wine. Age it like wine. It's just sitting right there waiting to be open. Cool. Now, speaking of aging it like wine, you've been on the scene for a while now. You've got a bit of experience <laughs> under your belt. So I'm just curious if, like, for people that are, like, new to the game and maybe just kind of getting started who have a certain kind of starry-eyed idea what the business is about, what maybe might be your nugget of advice for, you know, the young people just getting into it now? You kind of have to be relentless. I think the whole idea is to be relentless, to just keep pushing and keep asking yourself the question, who am I and why am I doing this? And that will always be the answer to continue to push and to keep having that reason to, to keep trying and, and just keep making music because that's what it's about. You just got to keep making music and, and keep making it exciting and fun and, and it'll work out. And you know what? We just lost our light. We did. You know it's what? It's for the romance. But we're sparkling enough. <laughs> it's shining. All right. Maybe they're going to slow the music down a little bit. Yeah, maybe they will. And then uh, it'll, everybody will just start swaying a little bit. There you go. There you go. <laughs> now, that advice that you gave sounds like advice we can take, not just in music, but in all areas of life. Yeah. So, wise, sage words. Uh -huh. Word up. So, did, before we wrap up here, would you mind giving a couple of shout outs? Number one, say hi to Michael Noose. Hey, Michael Noose. And then number two, thank all the viewers of SeanWard.net. Thank 
you everyone at SeanWard.net. Well, thank you for hanging out. Thank you, Sean. Hopefully we'll follow each other on Twitter and it'll be uh, a, a glorious social media happening. It will be for sure. We want the, you guys out there, you got to check out the song tomorrow, but don't wait till tomorrow. Check it out today. Where can they check it out? You can check it out at JulieC.com. Perfect.